What's going on, everybody? Mike here. If you'd like to join the ever-growing Fly Casual community, please take a moment right now to subscribe to our channel and share with a friend. Do you know what, you know what you're saying? Do you know what you're saying is not? What? It's not news. What? Dun, 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 yeah, it is. Dun, 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 Lannister. Come on, It's See how many earbuds we can just blast out. <laughs> Somebody at, at the desk next to you just got hit in the eye with the battery from the end of your ear pod. It's today's news. He was in uh, Last Action Hero, you remember? He was the dude with the weird eye. Not news. Remember Everybody that guy? ignore Gary. Last Action Hero. That's it for the rest of the podcast. Charles We're Dan. all going to spot speak in our falsetto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I keep hearing myself through Garrick's headphones. Headphones, headphones, headphones. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow. All right, you know what is in the news oh this week, Oh, my gosh, though? so many freaking movies. Yeah. Like, it was like trailer week this past it week. It was. <laughs> it's like they all just dropped this week. Because, you know, people go out to the movies during the holidays, so that's the hot time. It's Word. not necessarily the hot time to drop every film, but it's a hot time to drop the trailers. Yeah, drop. dropping the trailers. <laughs> oh, we're we going full <laughs> FM. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. <laughs> The trailer. <laughs> the, the trailer. So there was a whole host of them this week. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. I think we started out with the uh, <laughs> the unexpected, but dropped on nonetheless the Black Widow trailer drop. Black Widow. Um, Black Widow. I, I don't know if you guys one. were interested in this or not. I yeah. must say I really wasn't. Nope. Until I saw the I trailer. Like I'm not, I want to see it. not I'm awesome. interested. I'm totally into it now, man. It's I didn't like, think I would be. It's kind of like when they said, hey, we're having trouble. Nobody wants to do Ant-Man. And then somebody wants to do Ant-Man. And then they don't want to do Ant-Man anymore. And we don't do Ant-Man. Ant -Man, Ant -Man, Ant -Man. And I'm like, okay. And they go, Paul Rudd. And I went, oh, all right. I'm in. I'm good. <laughs> you know what else? It's kind of like the same thing. Black you Widow. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, right, right. And then I see the trailer. About like, a trailer. What? In a movie. Um, I would say episode eight. is. You said that about episode eight. Uh, that, that, and yeah, you know no. how that turned out. So uh, for let's, you, let's not. I'm really just Howie, trying to poke the bear. Howie, don't do this, man. The, don't do you it. hate when the bear don't wakes up. It. You hate it. <laughs> don't do it, Howie. Pull back. All right. Pull up. Okay, man. so here's You're the thing. Crash. You're not doing any good back there. <laughs> he just wants to see if he can get me going. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It'll happen. No, seriously, though, after Endgame, like my interest level in, Green in anything Marvel has been like almost zilch. Right, I mean, even Spider -Man? they've had a couple of yeah, even the Spider Man's. I'm not super interested in it. It was man. okay. Aww. Yeah, I, I'm, I thought Far From Home was just okay. Yeah, I yeah, it was, it was okay, all right. bordering on pretty good. I like Mysterio, it was it was okay. Mysterio. Mysterio was interesting, but it was still it was just okay. And I mean, even the announcements and stuff, and all the movies, and I knew Black Widow was supposed to be coming, but. You know, in my mind, I'm like, do we really need an origin movie for Black Widow? It's as like it seems like that boat has or that ship has sailed. One of the issues for me is that Black Widow got more interesting as time went on, right? But before she was less interesting. Like, let's be re let's be realistic. Iron Man Two was not Scarlett Johansson's best work. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but she got really into the role and it worked. And so, but come to find out, okay, we're not going back that far. Right, no. we're we're going back just a little bit. Yeah, which um, I'm like, oh, okay. Which apparently, yeah, apparently, Infinity War, right? yeah, the the movie is set between Infinity War and Endgame. So, um, now we're gonna have a little it's bit set of set between Infinity War and Endgame. Yes, I thought it was Civil War and Endgame. I thought, yeah, I thought or it was Civil, Civil War, and War and Infinity, Infinity War. War. Really, maybe because I was gonna say, then they only have half the cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, they save money that way. Yeah, that's true. Well, they they wouldn't. I mean, for her movie, they wouldn't need uh, the I, other. <laughs> no, it's the event. It's the following the events. Of Captain America Civil War. Oh, okay. Well, there you go then. All right. Well, they According would both be following the, the events of that. So anyway, to me, that's better. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I know there's a little bit of going back and, and I mean, actually, we see her family and, and things like that. So yeah. well, we get to Weiss, me, man. quote. And we get to see what David Harbor, Rachel Wise. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that oh, I knew boy. David Harbor was in it. And I like David Harbor. So I was like, okay, but Rachel Wise, I was thanks. like, whoa, now wait a minute. Daniel Craig's wife's yeah. in this? Yeah. Yeah, yes. she is. Yeah, she is. Rachel Wise <laughs> is one of my favorite actresses that I don't she see was in the lobster. all time. Did you know she was in the lobster? She was in the lobster. She was indeed. <laughs> you guys know that? Did you see her in there? I did. Thanks, getting scared. Thanks for bringing that back up to my stream of consciousness. <laughs> okay, so here's You're the thing. Welcome. Here's the thing with Black Widow. I mean, the trailer dropped. I like the trailer, and it's the one good. thing I'm interested about with this movie is the fact that it's not going to be crazy superhero power movie. It's just going to be a crazy action movie. 
Yeah, and I'm like, I'm anxious to see what they that. do with David Harbour's character because that dude was like the foil for Captain America for like de- a couple decades, right? You know, mm-hmm. but he's not super powered, right? Yeah, so, he's just yeah, strong yeah. guy like Captain America. He just so. wears a suit. Yeah, that's you know the Ruski version <laughs> right. of Captain America, right? So all the yeah. family looked interesting. I I was excited about it. So I after I saw it again, after I saw it, I was had no expectations. So will this draw you to the box office? It will drive me to, draw me to the box office. Yes. Uh, I will unless go to the, I got nothing I will go to going the on. Cinema. Like if my the cinema. cinema. <laughs> if my wife and kid like leave town for the weekend, I'd be like, yeah, I'll go see it. But I probably will. Not will actively. not shuffle things aside yeah, to no, see I, it. I wouldn't either. Because the number of movies that came out this year that I'm done. Okay. Last night I'm at dinner and my parents are telling me all about how good would you or the would you be my neighbor? Or whatever the Tom Hanks, oh, yeah, yeah, right, the right, Tom right, Hanks, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, we've reached that part of life where my retired parents are telling me about the movies <laughs> A movie, that yeah. I want to see. Right. <laughs> well, they got all the time in the world to watch. I know movies. it sucks. <laughs> I know. Screw them. All right. So Come shortly on, after that, we got the the Wonder Woman 1984 finally oh, dropped. Yeah, the, man, man, that trailer was amazing. That was. Balls ass amazing. Was it? I, loved I loved the it, dude. soundtrack. I'm sorry. The music choice. The soundtrack was great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. man. Um, I mean, they're good. they're stepping they're stepping in bow, the footprints bow. of massive massive mm-hmm. efforts that have gone before mm-hmm. them with this whole bow. '80s revival thing. Yeah, right. But they did it well. I just, I it was good. It I'm, was, ex- I mean, it was, I'm excited. I would, say, for it. I would say it was it was a little bit more than adequate. Like I was like, okay, yeah, it was where it needs to be. But given all the turmoil that's gone on with this movie. And given how kind of confusing the reveals are in the trailer, I'm kind of like, am I? Am, I mean, I want to see. This is one that I would probably shuffle things out of the way to see. Mm-hmm. But I just don't know. I'm not like overly psyched. I'm just curious, which is good. Curious is good. I, I, it's but pro- I'm not I, like, Whoa. I, should, I should probably <laughs> be more like you because I'm going to set myself up yeah, for bro, disappointment. I'm worried about you. But I'm, ex- dude, it's totally I'm excited for it. Um, it, <laughs> it really got me going. Like Garrick said, the music was was right. The look and feel are just right. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, Ride the Lightning at the end was pretty badass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the fact that, that was they, awesome. I did not expect that. I did not either. <laughs> I like the fact there are two things I like the most about this trailer are that they ditched the sword and shield. And they've addressed that. Like Gal Gadot has talked about why they did that. And it's like, yeah, you know what? In the 80s, Wonder Woman needs to have the lasso and the yeah. gauntlets, and that's all yep. she needs, the tiara, whatever. And the crown she the throws. Crown. Yep, the the crown. crown. Yep. Who plays the crown in Wonder Woman? <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> Chris Catan. Wonder Woman. Um, I, not Carl Here Catan. I go, I'm a crown. <laughs> I uh, but the lasso work looked pretty fun. I will that that uh-huh. I, I did yeah. enjoy. Yeah, that. yeah. But then Chris Pine's still alive. Yeah, yeah. That, that's everybody's big question. It's like that, how's that, that to me? I'm like, okay, that's good because I love Chris Pine, even though his lip keeps getting weirder as he gets older. <laughs> but yeah. it's getting to the point where he's got like built in CG mustache removal yeah, for, from uh, kind of weird. Yeah. But but I I no. What's weird is the Maxwell Lord. Played by the Mandalorian. Yes, played by Pedro and Pascal. He looks nothing like. No, he really doesn't. Nothing like the Mandalorian. And and evil. Yeah. <laughs> Not metallic and shiny. They put, they put him in like a fat face costume makeup thing. Maybe they just stung weird. him with a bunch of bees or something. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what. Working. Another reason I love Pedro Pascal is when this trailer dropped. Man, he. I, he is, dude, he is fun to follow on Twitter if you're he not is, following him right now. He like, is a geek. He, I mean, he is so geeked out right now on his role. He he's like this, geekism. He's like the new skinny Tom Hanks. Like, he's just so happy. He just seems like the nicest guy. He's like, I'm in the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the new Wonder Woman movie. <laughs> Did you guys know that was me? Yeah, that's, that's me. me. I'm, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kid. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it when actors and actresses are just that so giddy. blown away by yeah. their own success yeah. and they're just it's happy awesome. and thankful. Yep. yep. It rubs off and it's fun. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So I'm excited about that one. Okay. Then the one probably you're more interested in. Yeah. Maybe? Man, this one seems to have people divided, but I am all in. I am too. I've heard mixed things. Okay. We're talking about Ghostbusters Afterlife, right? Yes. Okay. So the big Afterlife drops. 
And uh, that was unexpected too. I didn't know that was going to drop. Yeah. Where did so, that I've been waiting from? for a year and a half since they dropped that first tease of the Ecto one <laughs> with the cover oh, blowing right, off sure. the inside of a barn. Actually, the funny thing is, is I was like at the gym and I was just flipping, you know, I'm on the treadmill and I'm just flipping oh, through. I'm like, me, Whoa, wait, what, what? And I saw it. And it's like 18 minutes yeah. ago. It dropped. Yeah. I'm like, wait, I'm wait, at, wait. I was at work and looked down at my phone and went, wait, what? <laughs> so I watched it with no volume. Cause I forgot my earbuds. Oh. And then when Howie and I were outside later, I'm like, wait, we can't go back inside. It's like 12 degrees. Right. And I'm like, no, stand there. And I turn up the volume. And watched on my phone. <laughs> so okay, worth it. Worth it. I gotta say, worth I'm excited it. about it. I'm excited about the direction because, yeah. I mean, obviously, there's some things going on in the background here, right? I mean, they're trying to recover from the debacle that was 2016. No, they're trying to completely ignore the debacle that was 2016. <laughs> and I'm being honest. It's no. I, and, well, like yeah. Leslie Jones is popping off on Twitter about yeah, they whatever. don't have cameos yeah, don't, or anything, and I'm yeah. just like, well, you're. I mean, you could have a, a cameo, universe, right? Yes, Completely different yes, universe. but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're talking about cameos. And I define cameos as when you just kind of show up randomly and your character doesn't matter. Right. But if you're coming in for five minutes as your character, who was a main character from a previous movie, that's not a cameo. That's you playing your freaking character. Right. right. And so they would literally just be cameos. The original cast, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, is going to be their characters. Yeah. Yes. According they, to IMDb, they they're going to be in it, but yes. they weren't in the trailer. No, at and all. which I no, also which, think was so a good the, and, and see, and I, yeah, I, yeah, we all seem to agree with that. Now, because I, I want you, I, I want to be questioning when they're going to show up. When <laughs> see, I see now them. the if if you guys have read any reviews of, of this trailer, I mean, it's kind of getting oh mixed my reviews. Gosh, right? People are so complaining. The biggest complaint I hear is like, anybody remember when Ghostbusters was a comedy? And yeah, I'm like, yes. yeah. yeah. You remember when remember. Ghostbusters was just stupid jokes every three seconds? Yeah, right. That Two years didn't ago, go three well. years ago. Yeah, right. Right. You know, but like, well, but actually, <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins, famous comedian, <laughs> clapped back at me on this. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, because he said something about it. And I'm like, I said, yeah, I said, I'm really looking forward to Paul Rudd, Rudd getting that best dramatic actor nod. <laughs> and like that, and then he threw the trailer for the original film back at me, which was just straight comedy. Right. But I think that's part of why the original film was so huge because. People were going into it knowing the cast and expecting Caddyshack. They were expecting right. Stripes. They were expecting that, and they didn't get that. They got something of a completely a bit, different caliber I mean, was, and a new genre fusion. It was all jokes, but yes, a fusion. But the scares but, were legitimately. Yeah. They was like, oh, this is right. kind of creepy. It was different. You know, right. I'm laughing at Rick Moranis, but at the same time, I'm like, what's that dog doing to him out there? Right, right. <laughs> You yeah, know what I mean? Truth, is it like biting yeah, What's going on? Well, here's the thing. He's got marshmallows, but he's trying to kill people. Yeah, no, that marshmallow is kind of scary, dude. He's like stepping on a church. Here's the way <laughs> Here's the way I'm seeing it, because I feel like, okay, they did 2016, and 2016 was just basically, you know, re thing, re blowing replace, a load all over everything. It was just replace the guy actors with girl actors and just make queef jokes for two and a half Oh, hours. my gosh. It was just, it was like watching the Big Bang Theory drunk. It was just joke, <laughs> joke, 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 And right. none of, only, only a couple, I mean, a couple of gags were funny. Sure. But the rest of it was just, it was too inundated. It was just, right. and whereas, like, you go back to first one, Ray, okay, okay, all right. The movie was written predominantly by Dan Aykroyd and also Harold Ramis, right? Yep. Ray does not have all the jokes. Right. And you don't think of Ray as the comedic character. But if you go back, he's you funny. actually, he's very <laughs> funny. And the things that he's saying are hilarious, but, but they're all none different of for, them. They're all funny for different reasons. And right? they all, none, of, none of them hangs. There's never a hang on his jokes. It's nope. just something that's getting out of the way so that we can race into the change of subject. Like Bill Murray, just, you know, no studying. You know what I mean? Like right. he's talking to Harold Ramos. And stuff. Like Bill Murray was, I mean, he wasn't, I don't think Bill Murray was even really going to be the film, right? No, he wasn't. That yeah. was that was written for um John for John John Boy, yeah, right? Exactly. And yeah. uh, if you watch the uh, movies that made us mm -hmm. on Netflix about the Ghostbusters, or listen to our episode them. Fly Casual about John Belushi, that's right. We talked about yeah, that. We did. Yeah. But I mean, and all of the jokes, like some of them, they were all different paces. You know what I mean? Right. Like Murray had his, I'm going to talk and you're going to listen to the words and laugh. Right. Ray had his like weirdo, like, <laughs> you know, and then conspiracy theory. Egon guy, barely yeah. said a word, but when he did, it was spores, I mold and fungi. Spores, it was, yeah. Poking the, yeah. <laughs> poking the old lady or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just like poking, <laughs> yeah, poking her. And like you, you watched Harold Ramis for his physical humor, right. believe it or not. Right. And and then of course and and then I will not leave out Ernie Hudson because Ernie Hudson coming in as the everyman right really made you really yep. grounded it out halfway through the film you yep. know what I mean mm -hmm. and said 
all right, this guy's going to come in and he's all on board, even though he doesn't understand jack crap right. about what they're talking about, but apparently got like four PhDs before the video game took place. So, so anyway, <laughs> with, with 2016, they tried to reinvent 1985, right? Or, or whatever. And it, it just didn't work. So yeah. I feel like, you know, had they tried to reboot this by doing essentially the same thing just with guys again or kids or whatever, mm-hmm. it just wasn't, it's not no, gonna, like a next generation Right. Ghostbusters would have felt forced. Yeah, right. Exactly. So they're like, like all right. yeah, just all our dads were the Ghostbusters, so, you know, yeah, kind of thing. So, or, or just here's, you know, like they did with the cartoon. Here's the kid in the wheelchair. Here's the other rainbow of children that right. are, or teenagers that are taking over the Ghostbusters. Like, right. it would, like it would have felt cartoon. forced. Shut up. I did too, but it would feel forced in cinema. So, so this th- approach, it feels it feels fresh. <laughs> it feels like now well, I know some feels, people are complaining it feels that it's fresh, it, but yet it's directly connected with yes. the first movie right. and the video game, which is canon. In fact, there's something from the video game that was in the trailer. Yeah, the gunner's chair. The gunner seat right. on the Ecto One. You go, there's a gunner seat. That's straight up from out of the, the video, video game. game. Yeah. Which uh, a lot of people actually consider Ghostbusters three, right? I mean, yes. Well, actually, you can hop on YouTube. I think and look at all the cut scenes. It was and supposed to be. It was. A, it was. That's essentially what because at that point they figured they were never going to get another real Ghostbuster. Well, right. another Ghostbusters film made. Right. And so, but. Ackroyd wanted to tell the tale really bad. I think Ramos did too. Right. So they got them all. And even Bill Murray came and did a voice acting for it. And you were just the new guy on the squad. You didn't have a name or they would just call you new guy and stuff like that. So you were right. interacting with the Ghostbusters. You're going back to the hotel. You're, you know, doing all this stuff and learning more about Evo Shandor, who was the guy, the architect behind the hotel and the leader of the Gozer worshipers. And that yeah. game went okay. wholly deep on like the history of the Gozer worship movement in like early 20th century America and stuff or the game, like it gave you like everything. So when in the trailer, I see them where they're walking in that abandoned mine and the gate says Shandor mine. Right. I about pissed myself, even though I know 99% <laughs> of people watching the trailer have n- will never, right. n- that's know not that. even a thing. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? But right. I'm like, okay, so he got retired the, that's the to keep studying this something. That's the brilliance, though, of, of Reitman, right? I mean, that he, you know, he knows all this. Jason and, Reitman and now. Jason, Jason. Son of Reitman. Son of Reitman, right. Bringing it all in. So, Second of his name. I don't know. I like Junior. it. I know some people are complaining that looks like a Stranger <laughs> Things rip off or whatever, which I say is crap because it's yeah. like, well, we don't even know what the plot is here. Ben I mean, Wolfhard has a black mop top. He could be the grandson yeah. of Egon. Shut who, up. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that's the only th- <laughs> the to other, me, that's no, the only reason is, they're drawing the, that comparison. The other thing is the if science anything, teacher. It's an it knockoff. Come on. <laughs> oh, the science There's teacher. Some, they're having yeah, the science right, teacher whatever. that knows about what yeah, happened. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, you'll notice, you know, uh, Paul Rudd there in the car, right when the terror dog's foot right. slams down on the hood, right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Are we having another? Are we having another like keymaster uh, gatekeeper moment? Right. Because here's the thing: terror dog's hunting him just like it was Rick Moranis. But there's also another scene where you see I don't remember the actor's name, but a guy run the hardware store, and he's sitting there right next to rows and rows of keys shaking. Yeah. Right. And, you know, because they're having these, and I was like, oh, yeah, another keymaster yeah. gatekeeper kind of thing. It might be a backup plan. I don't know. I'm how, excited. However, for, how often does that thing come around? Isn't there like a like every hundred years or something? I don't think that there was ever supposed to be a time limit because I think it was supposed to happen before it did in Ghostbusters. I think if I've got the lore right, they were actually trying to they were going to bring Gozer on earlier, but things went awry, whatever, and then they just decided to bring on the end of the world. And I don't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't remember all specifically, but it was not supposed to be like a repeating event. It was supposed to be something that was final. So, mm. but, it, but this could be like, you know, they actually, I actually watched Ghostbusters one and two, like a week and a half before Australia came out. So it was really good timing for me. And my daughter was enjoying it too. Um, they talk about when they're in jail and, and they're laying out the blueprints to Dana's apartment building. And they're talking about how it was built. They're talking about like, the reinforced girders, like selenium reinforced, like all this stuff. And I'm like, I wonder if that's like the mine has something to do with like the special metals they were using to like, oh, yeah. to generate the, 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 what they call like a spiritual, uh, connectivity or whatever of the building and stuff. So lightning rod. <clears throat> yeah. So do we know uh, IMDb has Annie Potts and Sigourney Weaver? Yes, Annie Potts and Sigourney Weaver are much supposed all of them. to be. I think yeah. the only one that they don't have is is Rick Moranis, right? I believe that's true. Because he's, he's, he's retired. He's pretty much like, he doesn't don't even anymore. talk to me. No, he's right. done. He's yeah, done. Yeah, he like, writes music have, and, and, and plays with his kids and grandkids. <laughs> right. They pretty don't much. have Harold Ramis on there. For some no, they don't oh, have Harold Ramis, dude, but they're going to have they're gonna have every every bit of Harold Ramis they can through those kids. I mean, that girl practically wearing the same pair of glasses. Now, how are you guys going to 
feel yeah. I shouldn't get this deep because we're, we're this can turn into a Ghostbusters podcast. But it's already how, how, has, how are you going to feel if uh, if they try to use you know bring him back as a ghost or you know, spiritual? I'm wondering if he's in the trap or something. I'm wondering if he trapped himself. Really? Oh, yeah, because nah, she finds know. a trap under the floorboards, and the science teachers mess with it, and there's a ghost in there. What if he's in there? What I would like is that we don't really ever get a look at him. So what do you well, hope? I don't want to see him directly. He can be in it. What are you hoping? I don't want to see him. What directly. are you hoping as far as the rest of the cast goes? Like the original cast? Are you, you hoping that they're they're a, a meaty part of this no. tale? No. Or you no. just want them? It's to, more of like, you just want them to you know pop in and say hey what's up and take off. Well, I think it, it would be more of a. I think what I'd like to see is it, more of a historical look back on what they did. Well, so the kids would use that. I'd be okay if when we get right into the thick of it at the climax of the movie, they show up and they help plan out what needs to be done. That's kind well, of that, yeah. See, I yeah. I dig like that. that. I mean, I feel like it's it, they can't be like taking over the whole movie, but I feel like dropping in at the end and and the give, thing let, is, lending though, the hand. They had they were well into making this movie before they secured Bill Murray. So I don't know if you can expect any him, any more than him answering a phone call. Sure. With Sigourney Weaver in the background, maybe. I don't know if right. you really can expect that. If we get a lot more than that, hey, I am the hell open to it because I love Ghostbusters 1. I love Ghostbusters 2. I love Ghostbusters video game. I don't love Ghostbusters this, 26. If it ends oh, up being so that way, go great, ahead. Uh, this has so many great people on it. I feel like Annie Potts right, should baby. be in every movie because she's <laughs> like one of my favorite people on the planet. And the way Baby's she plays Slimer's in the trap. You think Slimer's in there? It could That's be. Chase and Slimer. It looks yeah, Slimer. It's Slimer-esque. It is definitely a free-floating uh, app. Uh, what what they call him? It wasn't... <laughs> Uh, I can't remember what he how he refers to Slimer, but uh, it's. I was thinking of the library too. It was a free floating, right. full torsoed apparition. Yeah, but <laughs> um, but yeah, class four vapor. Yeah, it oh, looks yeah. like they're chasing a class four vapor when the Ecto one's tearing down the street and they're shooting the uh, proton pack and destroying everything. Yeah, yeah. just tearing the town apart. That's awesome. There it's you the see a ghost. Bolution. You also see one kind of like in the top of a silo. In the factory shot, there's this thing up at the top of the silo. That's like it almost looks like cloth floating, but I think that's actually a ghost. Like it Slimer X, because if there's something in like cornmeal or something in Slimer, and it's just pinging out. I don't know because yeah, it's got it's like it's almost got the top of it like stuck in the top. There. What do you right. think about the Ecto One? Perfect. Yeah, look great. Not the Ecto One A, mind you. Ghostbusters Two, the Ecto One, the license plate was Ecto One A, and of course it had all the additional features on it. You know, at the end, it had the slime uh, compressors and it had like all the checkered reflectors on the side and stuff like that. This Ecto one looks like maybe they actually got another 59 Cadillac hearse for the second movie because this one looks like the one from the first film. So I never thought of them as two different vehicles, even though they had a different license plate. I always saw the same vehicle just souped up, but it's definitely yeah, you gotta renew your license plate like every year. Yeah. All right, boys. We <laughs> we got another trailer we gotta hit here. Oh man. What? Another one? Sweet justice. What other what other trailers can you have come out? The Rise of what Skywalker just released what? its last actually post final trailer. Yes, post final trailer. This is a TV spot. It is it? a TV spot, but yeah. it was unexpected. They were the last yeah. TV spot was supposed to be the last one. So um, so spoilery. many rumors going out that they had to release something, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that, well, that's, that's, that's what people are pretty much saying. <laughs> they're they're saying the cat's out of the bag at this point, so they're gonna embrace it, right? So yeah. they've released a trailer. It's probably the best trailer they've released so far, in my opinion. I know isn't that because weird? there's a little I mean, it gives some a little bit of ex I shouldn't say exposition. That's the Rather wrong word. Rather than just going, but, here's our characters doing action y things. Right. They're actually going, here's something that will make you go, what is that? Yes. Right. And they had not done that really, other than like, why is Repio look like he's smoking too much reefer? Like they had right. not done right. a lot of it. Why are horses riding on a star destroyer? Right. There the the questions up until now have just been weirdo stuff. Now it's like, oh, this is kind of intriguing what's going this on. This is basically the beginning of the movie, or well, at some point in the movie where um Kylo Ren has it basically meets Palpatine. And I mean that's is the theory. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, let me that's just say, what, if, you've listened, if you if you if you have if you've listened to the rumors, Cash, you should be going. Oh, oh, right, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, which basically maybe I know the entire film, the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, well, anyway. I, and I think the most interesting thing about about that uh, trailer was the towards the end of that part of the scene when he was saying I've, I've been every voice in your head and right. it was going through right palpatine you know, Snow, 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 Vader. Vader. Yeah. yeah right 
Yep, that was interesting. And um, n- n- notice the use of the score there too. Yes, That's the old yeah. classic themes. Yeah, which uh, I I made I I, yeah, I texted you guys and I'm like, why use these now? And Mike's like, wait a minute, no, this is great. They're using fun. I'm like, no, that's my point. We avoid these amazing songs right. like the plague in every show and film. We treat them like we can only we can only use them in the in the most unique circumstances because that was Leia's theme and that was the Tatooine Twin Sun theme. We're this isn't Leia. This you know isn't Tatooine Twin Sun. I'm like it's the music from freaking Star Wars. Right. You Let's know what? Use it, it. Makes, it makes sense for this one because it's supposed to time. All right. Up. See that, and that was going to be my point. It's like without getting too philosophical here. I mean, it's the funny thing was is when they did Force Awakens, right? It's like a divorce from the prequel era and all that stuff. We don't want nothing to do with any of that. And yeah, blah, they blah, did blah. the same thing with the prequel trilogy. Yeah, I don't I understand. It, it but the point me off. I get it. But the point is now, like Garrick's saying, is that, and even JJ has said that, I mean, this movie has got to tie it all together, at least at some level. So. You know what? Whether not, they're able mm-hmm. to do that or not, no. who knows? But I mean, they're that's, not, they're, I'm gonna tell you that that last that last TV spot was a cock tease with the music. I think the movie will be just like everything else, and they will just will. ignore no, it I'm completely. Not, well, I wouldn't say it's oh, gonna ignore have it the completely. Emperor's theme at least in there, I would think. Yeah, yep. well, you know, everybody's at least favorite a variation there of. No, I think he's mm-hmm. gonna do a little bit with it, but. I, it's uh, to me. I don't know. I'm not going to go to there. I'm not going to my thoughts already. You've got. So. <laughs> you have got less than a week. You have six days yep. to temper your expectations back to where you were six yep. months ago, when you were sure you you weren't even certain you were going to go out and see this movie. No, yeah, I need you there. I, I never said I was not going to go see um, this movie. I think I've we have never, recordings. <laughs> of you no, saying no, you no were, I never said. Go back and listen to like, them. You guys I never go said see that. It and then just tell me what, that's exactly whether or not what I should. Said. Yep. What? I, no. Yep. <laughs> no. That's no. I said if. Ryan Johnson ever makes a trilogy, you guys can go see it first and let me know. You said that about that too. Nope. No, that's <laughs> what he not. said. I, I know what Mike's I said. Mike's right. Mike's correct. <laughs> I, I'm on Mike's side. I'm Team Mike. Team Mike. <laughs> Either way, this, this I've got six days because I've been getting pretty excited and I'm I'm starting to I'm getting the oh, the man. you know you, you you get the itch when you're a real fan even if you don't like some of the stuff that's yeah, been done right. when it start when a movie's coming out you start going oh, 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 you know <laughs> and also the Mandalorians got us all jazzed up and all that stuff and so I'm. I'm trying to temper myself right now. I'm like, you know what? The music is something that people, we've come out of a lot of these films, are like, you know, the music was good. Oh yeah, the music was good. And I'm always like, yeah, the original songs were good. But I've always been disappointed by the music, not utilizing the songs that really stir something very unique. Yeah. And so I will not go into this one believing that it's going to be any different. I refuse, because that'll just disappoint me harder. So Asperger when it happens, I'll be so happy. Uh, He's the asteroid chase theme in Last Jedi. So there, in your face. Yeah, they sure did. Great. Hey, yeah. Man, fucking fast. I remember saying that was my favorite part of that entire sequence, actually. I'm trying to forget all that. I don't I don't need that in my mind. The bear was poked. Good job, Howie. <laughs> Yeah, thanks right. a lot, Howie. Well, guys, You're welcome. Porks. Get good. that's all I had for news. Oh, yeah. We hope you enjoyed this special edition of Fly Casual. If you haven't already, please subscribe and rate us at iTunes, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast locations. It is important that you rate us so that we can reach more and more people. As always, be sure to check out the show notes at betterkind.com. There are also many, many ways to join in on the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Fly Casual 1138. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Fly Casual Podcast. We are also now on YouTube, so please take a moment right now to subscribe and ding the bell for updates. We are also now on Discord as well. Lots of opportunities to chime in. Reach out and say hi. Talk to you soon. Bye.